So you want to race through the ranks in Black Ops 6, but you're worried you won't be able to keep up with the guys who have nothing but time, a crippling lack of social skills, and a three year strong power social relationship to a girl who streams Warzone from a hot tub. Well don't worry, because I'm going to tell you the absolute fastest way to rank up in Black Ops 6. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to say that my method for how to rank up fast isn't going to require you to drastically change your playstyle. The reason I'm making this video is because I want to give you guys the best chance to level up quickly in this game while also having the most fun possible at the same time. The only thing I really think you're going to have to change up in terms of playstyle is, if you don't already, you're going to need to play Kill Confirmed. This strategy is multi-layered and one of the main layers is having the correct score streaks and perks. For score streaks, you're going to want UAV, Counter UAV and Watchdog Helo. For perks, you're going to want to use Use Ghost to keep you off the other team's mini-map. If you haven't unlocked this yet, don't worry, it's not the end of the world, just use Flak Jacket or something else. For Perk 2, we want to use Dispatcher. This will reduce the score cost for non-lethal streaks, such as Counter UAV and UAV that we are using, and it also stacks with our third perk, Bankroll, which means that every time you respawn, you start with 150 score towards your next streak. Now, the reason I'm getting used to use these streaks and perks is that not only can you get them insanely quickly over and over again, but they also give you extra XP while they're active. So for instance, if for once you have a competent team that doesn't just stand around scratching their asses and gets the odd kill or two, you get XP from that as well. Granted, it's not a huge amount but it really does add up especially if you have both the UAV and counter called in at the same time. So if you're playing kill confirmed you get 100 XP for every kill plus 50 for collecting the dog tag plus 15 for denying a tag and plus 10 every time an enemy is killed while your UAV is up and 15 XP when your counter UAV is up. So with our perks reducing the cost of streaks you only need to get three kills or a mixture of kills and dog tags or just dog tags before you start earning huge amounts of XP. Now this might sound a little bit like we're trying to farm our teammates but at the end of the day throughout history whenever anyone has had an abundance of some useless commodity this is what they've done. They farm the shit out of it. So farm the shit out of your shitty teammates. Every time they get a kill, dolphin dive on that motherfucker and make sure you get their tag. Make sure that you're finishing every single game with the most tags on your team. Not only will this mean that you're getting the most XP from the tags themselves, but nine times out of 10, because everyone else in your team likes to cry in a corner, it means that you're actually gonna win the game. The more games you win, the more XP you get, and the faster you'll be able to rank up. In addition to these things, I would also highly recommend if you have it unlocked, using the decoy grenade. If you don't have it yet, use the ammo box field upgrade, as again, for every time a teammate uses it, you get XP. Again, I want to reiterate this, farm your teammates. Make sure that every kill won by your team in this match is serving you in some way. Throw a decoy grenade so that when enemies get killed by one of your teammates, you get some score for that. Make sure you're getting your piece of the pie at every available turn. At the time of recording, I've been playing this game for about five hours now, and by solely using this method, I'm already around level 30. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm not the COD player I used to be. I'm now 30 years old, which in gaming years is like 75 or something. My reflexes aren't as sharp, and I don't necessarily have the best aim. However, However, when you use this method, your actual skill doesn't always matter. It doesn't matter if you're getting laser kills because 9 times out of 10, your teammates will not be picking up as many tags as you. This alone can get you all of your streaks almost every single life, and this will snowball until you're racking up super, super quickly, and then you'll have all the juicy weapons to explore. In addition to this, I just want to give you a few other little extra tips. For example, I've been playing hardcore, it's easier to get headshots for the camera grind, but that is not essential. Don't waste your double XP tokens. Now, one thing I'm planning on I'm doing is waiting until I've got two or three guns that are already one kill off whatever challenge it is I need to do to get them gold and then I'm going to try to get them all gold in one game after popping a double XP token. These sorts of challenges are going to give you the most experience in the game and if you wait until you've stacked a few of these challenges so you can pop your double XP token and get them all in one game you're going to absolutely fly through these ranks. As far as I'm aware this is by far the fastest way to rank up in this game at the moment. Now I'm sure there'll be some exploits and there'll be some things you can do outside of your comfort zone like farming and zombies but if you still want to have fun while unlocking progress towards your camos and all that good stuff then I promise you you will not go wrong with this method. Just quickly I'm going to be covering a metric shit ton of this game. My target is to reach 3,000 subs by Christmas and if you do me the favor of subscribing I promise you banger videos nearly every day for the next few months at least. Anyway for those of you who have watched my videos for a while you know that I love to see who sticks around until the end. So if you're still here I'd like you to let me know by answering this question in the comments. If you could end one crime, any crime forever, 
but you had to commit that crime yourself, which crime would you end? If you want to be able to hear enemy footsteps and have the best graphics possible while still having high frames, check out the videos on screen now. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day.